the real spirit which comes from the people, definitely the industry will not flourish unless the people who work in the industry, the workmanship, will really push it forward. My colleagues and, and those who are very well in the industry since a good yeah. number of years know very well that our human skills and the, the level of competitiveness of our, um, let's say, manpower uh, in the industry is not up to, 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 to international standards. standards. Yes. And I'll add to that, and I will not shy away of, of saying that, there is also a behavioral aspect, not just the skill one that, that we always hear complaints from. These are things that have we, over the past decades, actually, if not over one year or two, I don't think the governments give it enough attention. And since the 60s and part of the 70s, we concentrated heavily on the, on let's say, large industry, heavy industry, and we did not give as much attention mm. to medium enterprises, medium industry, mm. micro industry, and that's another problem. Mm. I mean, countries, I mean, if you look to a country like Germany, 1.5 trillion euros of, of export, the first country in the world, if you, if you exclude armaments out of that uh, in, in, in export, really the backbone of a country like that is not just the great big companies that we know of <coughs> in, in a country like, like Germany, but it's the medium and the small industry. This is another aspect together with the human factor that I don't think we as a country have given it enough uh, attention. And once we do that, and we have the opportunities, yeah. when we have time, I'll, I'll, I'll perhaps would, would want to discuss that more with you, but once we give that more attention, I think it will push the economy forward. Mm -hmm. Because also the large industries are not as mobile and as transformable as smaller and micro industries. Right. Um, Mr. Mazou here, um, if I can ask you about what could be jeopardizing the Egyptian industry from, um, from getting its supposedly um, or should be um, standards. I, and I mean here, I mean that industry should be number one for the national revenues. It is not. Actually, it is not. Why? One of the main issues in any industry, in any place in the world, mm. not the top management only, the middle management, this is the real nerve mm. which make it or break it, middle management. This is the ring between top management decisions mm. and things happen on the floor dealing with the people, dealing with the machine, dealing with the raw material. This gentleman or this man is very rare in Egypt. Mm. The medium management. Go to Germany, go to France, Italy, I'm not saying America or Russia or whatever. You see the Meister there or the head of the department or the technical man I'm not looking for an engineer. Mm. I'm looking for a real man who knows what he is doing. So again, we're speaking about m a manpower. Absolutely. Technical manpower. We need those people. Technicians. Mm. Mm. We need the schools to bring up young people. After 10 years, they will be those masters we are looking for. I'm not looking for a white color engineer. No, plenty of those. Mm. Unemployment in Egypt for five million people are white colors. I don't need them. What do you mean by white colors? Mm. Bachelor degrees, doctor degrees, <coughs> master degree. Mm. I'm a mm. master. Mm. I don't need it in the industry. I need that technician after the high school two years and real technical mm. training. People. If, if, uh, if some people, they, 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 they recognize something we call uh, a technical schools like Don Bosco. Don Bosco, yes. I wish we have two or three Don Bosco schools in every city in Egypt. Mm. If you want to help me as Italy or France or whatever, I don't need money. I need your people Assistance. to come and we... And train our manpower people. Yeah, yeah, and we as uh, 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 business people will be more than happy to put money, machines, land to make those schools because 
this is a real investment in the future mm. to make the man who can make it mm. or break it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, is it just the manpower issue or um, there are also the um, bureaucracy in those um, laws that are hindering the progress of industry. Uh, I mean, what else? What are the uh, real problems facing this industry? And we're speaking here of how many industries in Egypt, for an instance? Uh, um, first of all, I'm very happy two of my colleagues here. They have an engineering background. I'm the only man here sitting where they have management background. Mm -hmm. So industry, it moved from uh, technical and so on to training and management and so on which I'm, I'm happy to hear that from from you and that is the issue real issue we are not investing in human capital True. and what we need really really not mm -hmm. white color as he mentioned engineering and all of these certificates yes. where our university crowded yes. with whether it's a private university or public university what we need is a vocational training we need two years college after high school or whatever like such as they have it in the state hmm. and they have a work experience and they can move to a higher degree of course we have to change the culture for for example i'm planning a year from today to send my son to engineering school hmm. i hope my wife watching this program she will change her mind uh, and and that is the real problem we are not really investing germany france italy they have per capita investment in improving their human capital through, as my colleague mentioned, through training, retraining, training of the trainer. We don't send uh, a technician to go to Europe, but we can send people to be trained in order to come back to Egypt and train our people. So as my colleague mentioned, in industry, there is some important ingredient. One major part which our competitive edge in Egypt assembly our labor mm. and if we don't invest in labor we don't have a combative industry because comparing the wages we give here in Egypt compared to Europe mm. we are have a very cheap labor and that is what Chinese people did in order to be number one or two or three in industry right now they really focused on their combative advantage mm. which is a cheap labor we have a cheap labor, but we have to invest in it. Mm. Qualify them, train them, make them qualified to take over right. in, in Egyptian industry. That's one thing. The other thing which is related to industry is our location. We, God gave us a location. Why we don't use it? So you have a location and people, people in millions. Why we don't invest in our location? Why we don't make Egypt? as a hub for industry in the Middle East. That is not really a big deal. We've been talking about that, about the, the Suez Canal, where they have a lot of space, a lot of land. And once you do that, you can have industry from all over the world come invest in Egypt. And forget about the eight billions we generate mm. from can mm. Suez Canal, we can generate 10 or 100 times of that. That is the time to make a decision. And as I told you before, what we need mm. is a strategic leadership in order to make a decision and to act on it and really do it. Let's stop talking. Let's start work. We've been talking for the last three years. Let's start work. Everybody should mm. work right now. All right. Uh, before we continue on with our discussion, let's first go to a quick report uh, and come back to discuss. So what's after the manpower we have land, we have everything. What do we lack here? Well, just after the, this report. National unemployment reached 13.4% of the total workforce during the third quarter of 2013. That's according to a statement by the Central Agency for Public Mobilization and Statistics, CAPMAS, announced in an official statement. CAPMAS attributed this increase to the deceleration of economic activities that the country is witnessing during the past period. The unemployment rate represents an uptick from 13.3 in the previous quarter and 8.9% during the same period in 2010. 
According to the CAPMAS report, Egypt's total labor force amounts to 27.2 million, a 4.2% increase compared to the same quarter in 2010. The report also mentioned that the youth constitute 70.8% of the total unemployed, with around 10.6% aged between 15 and 19, and 20.9% 20 ranging between 25 and 29 years of age. The majority of the unemployed youth were found in the 20 to 24-year-old tranche, of which 39.3% were jobless. Commenting on the education level of the unemployed, the report pointed out that 84.5% of the unemployed had high school and college degrees. The report also indicated that labor force participation in economic activity represented around 47.7% of those aged 15 years or older, a decline from 48% during the previous quarter and 49.5% during the same quarter in 2010. Right, welcome back and back to our discussion here where we're discussing the main problems uh, in front of uh, industry. We spoke about the manpower, we spoke about how much do we need an urgent uh, um, help from outside countries, but we have not uh, spoken yet about real and important factors hindering industry from going uh, forward. Well, um one of the major uh, issues that uh, let's say reduced the competitiveness of the Egyptian industry until today we are still haven't got heavily into industries that have high value added to the economy mm. our exports from the industry are mainly either like a raw material or first stage of manufacturing we don't go up higher in the ladder where really we can make the profit and the value added from these exports if I were to give you an example one of the countries that share borders with us, they have 14 times exports than ourselves in terms of technology and uh, electronic components and so on. When you think of the money and the manpower put into that, it's minimal. Mm. It's mainly about know-how, it's about technology. So definitely, and over those three years, and I'm not gonna talk about 30 years, over the past three years, the world have taken so many strides in the industry on the, on the technological front, mm. and we are still trying to regain our first position. To catch up with the, with them in a yeah, way or so another. So, ev so even, even the gap, there is, the the gap, gap is, is, very is quite wide. wide. Mm. I have also to comment on something, and, and I agree with, with, with my colleague on that, about, about the wages of, of the Egyptian uh, labor, and I'm not going to talk only about the big factories, but I have to say also that it's a question of productivity. You may give a small wage, but that labor or those labor, their productivity is less. They waste out of training a large amount of, of, of materials. Mm. They damage and do not maintain the equipment, so they end up being a costly labor rather than a cheap one, although you pay them per day or per month less one. And that's an important issue. When you get a skilled labor, mm. and I go back again here to technology and mm. the, the, the ability to have this kind of discipline and behavior in, 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 the, in the manpower 